Hello everyone and welcome to my new Let's Look At. Let's look at One Finger Death Punch. This is an arcade game that is a pretty much the definition of beat em up. There's only two buttons you have to click though, and that's your left click and your right click. Everything else, there are added mechanics as we'll get into later. But for the basic gist of the game, it's right click, left click, whenever they get inside your little zone there. The gameplay does get it a little more in depth. Uh, it's not all just kill you know everybody with one hit. There are enemies later on that will dodge. There are enemies later on that will take more than one hit. As you see, you get weapons from time to time. It's a pretty in depth system for only having two buttons to actually you know do anything with. There are other modes other than the mob mode, which is what we're seeing right now. There's the nunchaku mode and the light sword, which I... They're kind of the so, sort of similar, but there's no real gimmick to the fights, except there is the quick time event enemies. I forgot about that. Which we're going to highlight here. As you can see, it's pretty much just timing and how good are you at planning split second, so nothing gets to you. I think at the end of these rounds, there's usually a quick time event enemy. I don't know what to call them other than a quick time event enemy because that's pretty much what it is. But these are, I think this mode or light sword in either case is probably my favorite so far just because that's what I'm best at. This is pretty much the game in a nutshell. If this does not look appealing to you, you might have the wrong game. But that is why we're here to see if you actually might be interested in the game. It does get rather difficult as you go on due to the speed but it's nothing you probably shouldn't be able to handle unless you just have very, very poor reflexes. Now this is an example of enemies that dodge. Blue dodges, green takes multiple hits, and these are the most difficult of the stages for me, the mob stages, because it is so demanding that you pay attention to every single mob on stage that if you screw up, well, you screw up. And it's very easy to do so here, like that. But one thing One Finger Death Punch does extraordinarily well is, even if it isn't actually all that difficult, it makes it feel fun. You feel like you're actually, you know, really skillful doing this. Even if it is only right-clicking and right-click- or right-clicking and left-clicking, excuse me. And that cannot be really measured. Just that fun factor, and this game has got it in spades, at least in my opinion. Then again, I'm a simplistic man that just enjoys beating the crap out of things, so, you know, your mileage may vary depending on your personality. But for the light sword event, I'm going to shut up and let you experience it fully, because the music in these is actually really, really good, so I'll shut up now. the current speed of your enemies. When you perform well, it increases. When you fail, it decreases. But it will never go lower than 100%. The enemy base speed will increase throughout the game, making future stages more difficult. But that's going to be it for today, guys. It was a bit of a short let's look at, but it's One Finger Death Punch. It's an, it's an arcade beat-em-up. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. But thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you'd like to help support the channel and help it grow, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. Farewell, everyone. Until next time.